Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights. Welcome back. I hope that you are doing super, super well today. That's just my printer. This morning I was like, realised that the studio lamp wasn't working. I was like, why is that not working? And I've obviously at some point turned it off the blog. So now the printer's just going a little bit crazy. It's not voodoo hoodoo, it is the printer making those noises. So what we're going to do today is what are the messages from your person? And I've got two brand new decks that I've got at the tarot conference. So this is deck number one. This got gifted to me. Um, and this is the Witch's Garden Tarot. Okay, it's absolutely beautiful. And this, I'm not going to show you the images because I want you to go to the back of the deck that you're drawn to. This is deck number two. And this is the Spellcaster's Tarot. So very, very um, magical decks today. As we reach those higher vibrations, we reach into the upper dimensions and bring that energy down with messages direct from your person. Number one, number two. So someone asked me the other day, add a third option for tarot. Now, if you do this properly and you think about your person as you're choosing the deck, you are pushing your collective energy into the deck that you are most drawn to. So technically, you don't need a third option. Ooh, I know, I know. It's true, it's true. Um, so if you think about your person as you connect with that deck, you push the energy into it. So let's get cracking, deck number one. So have I got any gossip for you, uh, deck number one? Just connecting with you and your person. If you haven't checked out the podcast, go check it out. Um, it's on all the podcast sites. It's on YouTube Music and it is also on YouTube with videos on it. We're going to be doing a pagan party for Salwen. Um, so getting your me, getting your hot chocolates, getting your coffees and just come and have a really good time with us as we discover the history um, and we talk about ancestral lineage. Um, and these, you know, I've redone everything because I redo everything every six weeks. So these are the goddesses over the top. They rule the specific times of year. So we have, we have, sorry, the eight goddesses. We have eight pagan festivals. And Samhain is all about connecting with your ancestors. Now, you guys might know of as different as Halloween. Uh, but when we're going back to the old Albion magic, Samhain was about your, your loved ones crossing over and the mischief that was being caused that then turned into Halloween. So a lot of this stuff that I've put on here is extremely old. So let me just show you this quickly. And then I promise I'll do your cards. This was my great, great grandma's. And look at the date on that. 1865 for my grand great grandma Annie Knowles. Um, it's really cool, really cool. I have so much old stuff here, um, and I will show you it all on the Pagan Party special, so you can have a look at that. Um, yeah, Mystical Mean Day Musings, bit of a tongue twister. Wasn't meant to be a tongue twister, but it turned into one. So, what are your person's messages for you? Way okay, two. So I'm just going to do three tarot, which isn't much, I know, but it's enough. And I've put down these guys. So these guys I haven't used in forever and I found them at the back of the cupboard the other day. And um, these are tea leaf fortune telling cards. I just want to get some information from these for you. So mule is coming up. Let's do two from each side. Stuff over here. Oh, that's nice. And then we can get the direct messages from your person. Can I just have two more, please? For the messages directly from the higher dimensions down to your person. Okay. Now, your person has put quite a few blocks in the way of this connection moving forward at this moment in time. So the tarot cards that you have for this reading are the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So channeling that energy down from the higher dimensions to you, your loved one's mutual energy, the person you're asking about's energy, is they can see a future with you with the Ace of Pentacles. They can see that this relationship can work out. They can see that they can walk through the door with you and really build the stability and security of this connection. They see the house, they see the home, which is all to do with stability and security. And there really is this beautiful energy over the connection between the two of you. Now, now, if you look at this hand, there's also a spider on here. Spider rules the divine feminine. So you are in their thoughts, their feelings and their emotions. But what's happening with them is the five of pentacles and four of cups. So they are feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. They are feeling a little bit fed up with their own actions and they're feeling a bit lonely, sad, abandoned, drained. Um, so they're basically just feeling a bit sorry for themselves. 
So when we're looking at your person's energy and their messages for you, the reason why this is happening, why you are at this kind of standstill with them, is because they are putting obstacles in the way of the connection happening, because they are frightened of going into this full guns blazing and having this amazing connection with you. They've never experienced relationships like this before. They never experienced the emotions of this relationship before. And this means it's a more divine connection, which we automatically know. OK, so the messages from your person on the tower is that I can see a future of you. I'm being a bit of a sucker for myself at the moment, letting my head get in the way. Um, and also circumstances, Spirit are saying to me. So your person might be feeling that they aren't good enough materially, physically, emotionally. They're just feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. It is the sense of, oh, God, you're not can't really like me. You like the idea of me. But the actuality of it is you wouldn't like me if you got to know me better. But I've got these walls up and I'm not going to let you in on them yet. And this is where the four of cups comes in. So this is your person at the bottom feeling quite sad and sorry for themselves. And you over the top coming towards them with the cup saying, look, let's make this work. Let's be together. So we have a bit of a mix match of your energies between you guys. OK, so your person's messages to you are I can see a future with you. I'd quite like to go towards a future for you, but I don't think that I am good enough. I don't think that you're very going to be very interested in me if you got to know me. So I'm going to sit here and feel a little bit sorry for myself, a bit fed up with everything um, until I work out the best way forward. <laughs> so those are your tarot. Now, when we look at the cards over here, you've got Mule, which says someone's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, which is if we look over here with the four of cups your person feeling a little bit sorry for themselves okay they're feeling sorry for themselves bless the heart um you've got stuff that says you will be taken care of in difficult times so when you are feeling this pull away from them when you're feeling that everything is very heavy spirit want you to know that they are looking after you they are there for you um and again with it being a more divine connection you can actually talk to your guides about this connection and get some divide uh, some di some advice directly from them. You could try doing automatic writing or you can give me a shout and we can have a look at it. I'm doing same day voice note returns on readings at the moment. We've got dealings with an older woman and we've also got obstacles to overcome over here. So older women will come into your energy for this reading because it is a more divine connection. And like I said at the start of deck one, we are in this very strong ancestral energy coming forward to Sawem. OK, so this will be one of your ancestors who is looking after the situation with you. The hills always symbolise obstacles. It's the same in Lenoma. So we've got obstacles and we've got stubbornness. OK, now, is there a way for this relationship to move forward? Can we clear these obstacles? Let's just ask that. Can we clear these obstacles? It's a hand slip. Can we clear these obstacles? So with the, can we clear these obstacles? You've got the Ten of Cups coming up, OK? So absolutely, you can. This is about endings or new beginnings within the relationship that you have with your person, OK? Now, if you want to know more about it and look at the tools and tricks and advice that we can give you on how you can move the relationship forward, you can just give me a shout. I have um, voice note readings, same day return, and I also have space for video readings if you need a more in-depth reading, OK? So, yeah, overall... Your person's messages to you is I can overcome this situation and we can be together. But I've got obstacles in the way because I'm not feeling good enough and I'm fed up with myself in feeling like this because I can see that we have a future. And your ancestors stepping in as well to say to you, we've got this all under control of. OK, trust us, trust us and trust the process. And that is deck number one. So if you need me, DM me. Right. Let's tap in to deck number two. I'm going to pop. Yeah, let's put these back in the decks. Let's just stick them back in. If they jump out again, it's it's because it's meant to be. Right. So deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, we are going into the energy of you and your person to ask what their direct messages are for you. We're using the Claire audience as we tap into the higher dimensions. Um, they speak through my right ear, your loved ones, health is and guides. And so when we're channeling this message, just channeling this reading, it will be um, your higher dimensions of the person you're asking about. So what messages do they have for you? And we're going to do what I did with deck number one, which is just pull three cards. What are their messages? Ooh. Ooh. King of Kips. Chariot. Oh, this deck is so pretty.
I just got a bunch of songs then. So as you know, I'm quite audience and I hear a lot of songs. And um, I just got that, do you remember Five? I think they were on my wall as a teenager. Um, I got that Keep It Moving. Get on up when you're down. Gonna take a good look around. It's not much, but it's okay. Keep on moving on anyway. Moving anyway. Right, so I'm going to use some of these as well. So I use these for deck number one. These are tea leaf reading cards that I haven't used in years. And I really felt drawn to yours then today. Oh, lovely. We've got a five. Oh, it's victory. It's not a five. Fives in tarot, for those of you that don't read tarot, fives in tarot are always the more complicated cards, just as a heads up, in case you wanted to know that. But it's not. It's, um, it is a five which would suggest, because in Roman numerals, the V is the five, okay? But on here it says victory. Um, we'll talk about that in a second before I go off on one. Right, your person's messages for you. Let me just say, cards you got, King of Cups, Chariot and Empress. So, right off the bat, your person's messages to you are, I love you, I'm making movement towards you, I want to build a relationship and see where we end up, have a family, start a new life, start fresh. So really positive energy coming in straight away from your person. So let's delve a little bit more into it. King of Cups, okay? So this is the person you are asking about and this is their emotions for you. Very much ruled by water, King of Cups. And water always symbolises emotions, okay? So we've got his trident in the hand, like King Trident, ruling the seas, Poseidon, all that kind of energy coming through. Very strong masculine energy. Now, remember, we're never gender specific or sexually orientated on this channel, but this will be your person in the ma more masculine energy, that power energy that is based on love. They aren't afraid to show you their emotions, Okay, now with the victory card over here, again, this kind of says they're not afraid to show you their emotions. They're pursuing this. They want this to work out. Um, it literally says victory in some endeavor. Okay, now with it being a five and with it being the king of cups as well. So I'm going to just read intuitively on this bit and what spirit are telling me is that your person might find on a couple of occasions, they're showing me the five of cups, um, that they are crying a little bit over things that haven't quite worked out the way they want them to, but they are full steam ahead, full guns blazing on the train with the chariot over here, on the train, movement, 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 building stability, security. I want this relationship. And we have the woman over here. So again, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but this is a connection. This is a relationship. This is a bond. So the person that you are asking about wants to have a future with you and is really determined to get that. Now, Temperance is just looking at me in the face, okay, so it's right on top of the deck, didn't realise it was there, so it might take a little bit of time to come into fruition, it could be that there's a few delays on here, but there is alchemy happening with the connection, getting really ecstatic, my hair's going in my eye, um, there is alchemy of the connection, there is movement and transformation, okay, which leads to the victory. So really positive energy, messages from your person, I want to have a future with you, I am working towards a future with you, I am transforming the situation to build a connection with you empress over here we have bell for announcement and we also have torch it says spiritual development enlightening awareness and understanding so there could potentially be pregnancies over this situation as well so if you with announcements specifically pop popping in if you are not wanting to have children just be a little bit wary of that because um, you are in this fertile energy of the connection. So whenever you have that fertile energy, that means things will come into fruition quite quickly, which can also mean babies come along the way. So the announcement that they're also going to make, Spirit is saying, is that they are going to be committing to you. They want that level of commitment. They want it. So you've got victory, levels of commitment coming in and positive energy. Now with the torch, um, this often reminds me of the hermit card. Now, if you haven't seen the hermit card in the tarot, um, it's, I'd never find it and I won't be able to find it quickly, but it's a, a person that is hermiting and they always have the torch for being the light. Okay. So you are being protected on this. This is a more spiritually advanced relationship and there are spiritual lessons for the two of you to learn from this connection. Okay. It is a higher vibrational connection. It is a soulmate connection, likely to be a soulmate with that beautiful uh, frequency of love cascading down from the higher dimensions to you. Your person is in love with you, falling in love with you, wanting a future um, and making announcements on that. So if you are looking for that Facebook, social media post saying we are in a relationship, 
be prepared. It is likely to come. So deck number two is really positive. Don't feel like I need to pull any more of that for the messages for you. Let me just recap the messages really quickly. Okay, overall recap. Do, 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 drum roll. Overall recap. I want to be with you. I have feelings for you. I am transforming my life, transforming the situation. I'm going to make an announcement towards you. I'm going to express my emotions. We have got the chance to build a future. I'd see total victory from this connection and I see us being in a relationship and I am making movement towards that. And that is your person's messages for you. So I'm doing same day return on voice note readings. If you need an answer today, you can get an answer today. Um, just drop me a message. I also have spaces for video readings if you need me. So I'm sending lots of love to you all. Also, oh yeah, yeah, check out the podcast as well. We are doing a pagan party special for Sawain. Um, every six weeks, we're going to do the pagan party um, where you get a chance to have a glass of mead or coffee or hot chocolate, whatever you'd like. Um, this time we're going to do like maybe a little ghost story. Also got some answers ancestral stuff that I can show you and I was just showing um deck number one this this was my great grandma Annie's book I have a lot of old stuff so um 1865 and in fact you know I think I might do a post on Instagram so you can see um some of the older stuff that I have this one this is Mrs Shipton she's like 200 years old um so very very strong ancestral energy coming in um at this moment as we head into Salway the three-day period of celebration so or Halloween if you're more modern. So <laughs> if you need me, drop me a message. I'll put all the deets in the comments for you. I love you all and I'll speak to you later. Ciao, ciao. Many blessings.